Hey guys, I'm Dawn Del Russo, fashion and lifestyle expert. So, you probably already saw the Miss America video and my video at Derek Fabulous's Bottomless Closet event. And now, here is an interview with Derek Fabulous himself, telling us a little bit more about his um, event, Bottomless Closet, and how it went, and how seriously fabulous he is. So check it out and I hope you guys like it. You can comment below, let me know what you think. He is a truly inspiring and amazing person and I'm really, I was really excited to find out that he's doing so much in the fashion industry but incorporating and helping other people in other ways rather than just talking about fashion. So I really, really love it. I think you guys will too. Don't over, so have a great day. How did you start the founder organization? Well, as I said in my speech earlier, I grew up homeless. So I wanted to do something that was really close to my heart. In New York City, it's really difficult to find something. You know, when I talk to people about what kind of community service they're doing and what they want to do, they're always like, I don't know where to go, I don't know where to go. And so, and I was the same person, and then I was like, you know what, honey, you've created everything you ever wanted in your whole life, do this too. So, a girlfriend of mine named Molly Heights, who is totally the person I can thank for starting this, she came to me and she said, I have the perfect spot. My company's involved, and it's very your message, it's exactly who you are, you can relate to this organization, and it's perfect. So I went in, and the first thing I did was I threw a big brunch, which I used to do a lot of artist brunches, so it was a no-brainer. It was all celebrities, different friends, you know, the people in my life. And I said, listen, I'm doing this brunch, we're in clothes, clean out your clock. We had this big brunch at the Dwayne Park, which is downtown, where Lady Gaga just performed yes. recently. Oh my God. And we had a big brunch, it was very successful. I got all my volunteers, and then in the end of November, I started the How to Be Dear Fabulous program for the Bottomless Closet. Two years, 300 women, I'll be doing it for 10 more years, God knows how many women, and you know, and as my career builds, I'm able to help more and more and more, and you know, I make new friends, and today I just had a confirmation for another huge donation. Oh, wow. You know, Kmart has donated to me, Sears has donated to me, Macy's is a huge donor, Giorgio Armani is a huge donor. Oh my God. It's so incredible the kind of things you can get. Kara Ross donates all the time. So blessed with wow. my friends giving us things. And you know what? Every little bit, you don't know what that does for these women, number one. But you know, you think, oh, it's just a bracelet. Oh, it's just a two hour seminar. Oh, it's this. You don't know who was about to jump off the bridge. You don't know what they've been going for the first time they're admitting that they, their husbands try to murder them and they ran from their own house. And something really important for me to talk about, which I try to talk about as much as possible, these are not African American underprivileged women. These are white women. These are black women also. Hispanic, Asian, every race, every creed, every sexuality. It doesn't matter. To me, women are women. It's so important for me. And every time I film with them, I'm like, make sure you have a mix. Because I understand how America thinks and what the media has given as a voice. Absolutely. And my voice is that it affects every woman. I love it. I love it. It affects it. every woman. Oh. You know, and a lot of times when, when I walk in, I say, look at you. Get over the fact that you're being discriminated against. Because you know what? I'm a flamboyant gay man. I get discriminated against every day. You're an African American woman who people would have an idea. You have dreads. You're this. You're overweight. You're older. You're this, that, and the other. And you know, these women have pride. Right. And I'm all about rebuilding their pride, rebuilding their personal brand. And you know what? When you become homeless and you're living in a shelter, it's a complete lifestyle change. I can imagine. And so what my program does, and working with these women, I discuss with them, you're rebuilding your life, you're rebuilding your lifestyle. This is so important to me. Oh, it's amazing. Last thing is, do you have any words of advice for women out there to feel good about themselves and, you know, look good and feel good? Women, men, everyone. This program, what I've learned, you know, I always thought, oh, let me style someone and they'll feel good about yeah. themselves. Truthfully, that's a band-aid. That is an absolute band-aid. Because if you love yourself, You'll brush your teeth off yourself. You'll brush your hair. I tell this story all the time, and especially recently now that things are moving in the <laughs> right direction for my career, which I'm so grateful seven years ago. This other celebrity stylist came up to me, and I wanted to buy a Chanel bag or something, and he said to me, you know, you should be worrying about the fact that you have crooked teeth, bad skin, and that you're fat. Let me tell you something. I went, oh, I wanted to cry and have a breakdown, and then I was all like, you know what? 
Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I saw him a year and a half ago, and he didn't recognize me. Wow. Back in Hollywood, we see the Heidi Montauks, who my heart goes out to her. You know what? Well, instead of bashing her, let's love her. Exactly. Because she oh. is a classic example of someone trying to fix the outside yep. to fix the end. Right. Honey, when you love yourself, you are going to take care of yourself and you're going to look fabulous. And that's what I did. You know, I don't have a problem with plastic surgery. So Do it because you love yourself yes. and you know it's okay to make changes within them. Uh. I mean, I talk about I had braces for four and a half years. My teeth were on this. But... Gorgeous! <laughs> you know, proud of myself. I love myself. I have relatively healthy self-esteem. You know, whatever. And I get knocked down just like everybody else. I go through hard times like everybody else. You know, there are days where I'm like, yeah, I don't want to get out of bed. But you know what? I'm out of bed today. And I can live today to the absolute fullest. I love myself. I love what we did here tonight. I love lookbooks.com. <laughs> I love everyone that came together. Joseph Rick Pop, Miss America. Thank you guys so much because you are showing that people in our industry can love everyone else. Oh, too. thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure.